So Maxie got a new t-shirt the other day. Look at this cuteness. Oh my goodness, this little striped rainbow t-shirt is absolutely adorable. But Randy and I are going out tonight. We're gonna go to the Mellow Mushroom, have a beer and a pizza, and watch the women's final four game. And I think Brecken's gonna meet us. So Randy should be home in a couple hours. I'm just sitting here working on my newsletter and hanging out with the boys for now. So I thought I would answer, whoa. So I thought I would answer some YouTube comments because my video came out this morning about the eight lessons that having gray hair taught me and you are so, so funny. I mean, I just, I want you all to know when I read your comments, most of the time I just sit here and laugh because y'all are just hilarious. Somebody <laughs> said, oh, Maxie, no. Somebody said, uh, I just love you, sister. <laughs> I started following you from the start. You gave me the courage to ditch the die. Um, you know, just stuff like that. It, it just really makes me smile. It makes me laugh. So we're home from Mellow Mushroom, chilling on the couch, watching Iowa play Yukon. We, at Mellow Mushroom, we watched uh, uh, South Carolina beat, uh, who are they playing? Uh, North Carolina State. It was a good game, but it was a blowout. So Pollux and I are just going to get settled in here and watch Caitlin Clark. This is going to be a phenomenal girls basketball game. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday morning. I'm sitting here with the Mui, and uh, we're just deciding what we're going to do with our day. So, I've just been milling around the house, literally nothing, stealing my pajamas, and it's 1045. So, I've been outside. I got my Diplodenias earlier in the week, and because it's still too chilly at night, we're getting a frost. I have them in the garage at night. and have to move them outside every morning so that they can get their sunshine, and we planted new grass seed in the yard, so Randy's been out watering that, but he's getting ready to run and get us some lunch. I think that beer last night got me. I have almost like a weird hangover feeling today. My stomach is just a little bit unsettled, so I'm just taking it easy and hope to just shake this off pretty soon. 
So it dawned on me just now after telling you all, I was kind of a little bit nauseous-y. I have my nausea bands in the closet, so I put them on. And Randy's in the shower, and I'm going to see if this makes me feel better. It's got to be the beer last night, because after I drank it, I drank a um, oatmeal stout. Didn't even drink the whole glass, but I got a headache, and I slept fine. And then this morning, I woke up and was like, ooh, so... It's got to be the beer. So I got to say, I've had these motion bands on 30 minutes tops. I already feel so much better. It They're, they're magic. Something else I want to share with you all. I have been in need of new sports bras. And I went to a sporting goods store the other day, tried on all the name brand sports bras, hated every single one of them. And I went into Walmart and I bought this style sports bra. I'll link it in the description box below. I'm obsessed. I'm wearing it today. I bought it in the color gray, in white, and I also got it in black. And I ended up, look at the stack of sports bras. I ended up getting several different styles. I bought a total of six sports bras, but this one is fantastic. It has adjustable straps right here, and the back looks like that. It comes with pads. I took the pads out. Don't don't give a hoot about that. I'm going to wear it working in the yard today. But these and this brand, Avia, fits me wonderfully. And the best part is they're about $10 a sports bra. Well, I put on this long sleeve shirt because it's like 50 degrees outside. It's supposed to be 65 today. But the sun is out, and I'm already going to have to come out of this long sleeve shirt. This calls for short sleeves. But I'm going to be spreading pine needles in all of our flower beds. And the pine needles, ooh, I'm going to wear gloves, obviously, but they poke my arms. Randy went to pick us up Starn's Barbecue. He was dying for a barbecue sandwich and chips. So, you know, that's what we're doing. And the dogs are milling around in our freshly seeded lawn. Let me show you this stinking mess. Our entire yard is covered in hay because last weekend we seeded and did all the things and now we just have a little bit of a mess. And who do you think? Every time they go in the yard, stands in the middle of the mud and hay, Maxi and Pollux. Just like that. Moo, you just stand in it every single time, huh? It wouldn't surprise me one bit if he rolled in that hay. Just stay out of, uh, stay out of the mud. Of course. Oh, look at Maxie. He is standing in the fire pit. And Pollux is like, hey, dude. Hey, dude. What are you doing in there? Mooey. Hey. It is so nice out. All of my neighbors are mowing and weed eating and all the things. So it's going to be a loud day. But let me take your run front and show you my Diplodinias. They're sunning. I call them my girls. They're getting their sun. Here they are, my little beauties getting their sun today. These are going to go out back in the big planters around the pool, but they are so pretty this year and vibrant red. They look so, so healthy. And the big news is, if you follow me on Instagram, you know this. If you don't, I'm going to have to catch up to speed. But I have this little wreath on my front door and a little mama bird built a nest in it. She started earlier this week. Within three days, she had a nest made and she has laid eggs. So the first day, there was one egg. The second day, there was two eggs. That was yesterday. This morning got up and there are five little baby eggs. And I posted these videos on Instagram and somebody told me this was a robin egg. Let me show you the sweetness. And there's this. The first Saturday of the month, our community test the like tornado sirens. Max and Pollux always have to join in. <laughs>
happy Sunday. I just made that almond croissant. It is in the oven. It smells incredible and it was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not a baker and I don't normally work with puff pastry, but that was super simple. I cannot, it's got 15 minutes, then it has to sit for 10 minutes and we are going to dig in. So I just ground some fresh coffee beans. We're gonna have a cup of coffee and an almond croissant. It's kind of cloudy today, but we have a big to-do list of things we wanna get done in the yard. And then the final game, the championship game of the women's basketball tournament is today. Iowa is playing South Carolina. Now, I love Caitlin Clark. I love all the girls on the Iowa team, but I really, really like the coach for South Carolina. So I don't know who I'm gonna root for. I think it's going to be a phenomenal game and that is at two o'clock today. Then, supposedly we have rain coming in, so we're trying to figure out what to do for dinner. Can we grill? Do we want to go out? Do I want to cook? Which means I got to go to the grocery. I don't know all the things. So it's just going to be kind of a, a Sunday full of whatnot and getting some chores done and seeing how our day plays out. Who? Are you in? Are you out? What? We took your shirt off, didn't we? It was just too warm today. It's supposed to be 70 something today. Randy's outside right now doing something to the pool. Or no, he's setting up a sprinkler on our new grass because we need to keep the grass kind of moist-ish but I don't know why he's doing that because it's supposed to rain today and it's supposed to rain tonight for sure. Whoa Moo! What is that Moo? Oh my! Whoa! Okay! Oh! 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 Mooey! We got wet! <laughs> Wow, look what the squirrels have done to this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're getting the furniture wet and everything. Good thing we kept it covered. Sir, you don't need to go out there. You will get in that water. I know. I know what you'll do. You stay in the house with mom. Look at that. So it just came out of the oven. It's got to sit for 10 minutes. It'll fall a little bit. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at those puffs. Ooh, how much do you want, babe? Like, just a, yeah. or a piece like that. Piece of cake. That's a lot. Why did y'all come running in here? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can hear you crunching it. Listen. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow.
So I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow during the solar eclipse. And so I thought today at 1.15, which is what time it is right now, total sunshine was a good time for me to come outside and figure out where I need to put my camera and where I need to be so that you all can see all the things. And we have a full open sky, full view of the solar eclipse tomorrow, but it's going to be 80 degrees and hot and total sunshine, I think. I want you all to be able to see the lake behind me, to hear the crickets and the birds and all the things, and see Maxie and Pollux because they're going to be running around. By the time you're seeing this video, you have already missed my live stream for the solar eclipse. But lucky you, you can go back and watch the replay at any time. I'll put the link to it in the description box below if you want to see me in totality during the eclipse. Or I could uncover the furniture and sit under the umbrella for a little while and kind of stay out of the sun and talk to you guys, which that's what Randy suggested. That's actually a good idea. So I have not opened the umbrella yet this year and normally there's some wasp inside. I was thinking I could sit here. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> See, two wasps, told you. But I think this is gonna be a good spot. I can sit, we can talk, you can see the surroundings and the sun. This will work, yay! Yep! There's two of them. Oh. So y'all probably seen enough of me for the weekend. It's time for me to settle in on my little comfy corner of the couch and watch Iowa and South Carolina, the women's basketball game, the championship game of the Final Four. And honestly, it doesn't matter who wins. To me, it doesn't. It is just about women's sport. Women are rocking the world right now, y'all. And I think it is so fantastic. So y'all have a great weekend. I sure did. See you later.